Hi, we're back on Workout San Diego. I'm Andrea, and I'm here with David, and he's going to teach us about the different sorts as well as the grips. Well, first off, now that you all have epes in your hands, um, I just want to go over really quickly some safety rules that we always use when we teach uh, working with fencing equipment. The first is, and I can tell that you have the correct grips, is you hold them, but we always keep the tip near the floor. That's just safety because a lot of people are walking around without any masks or without any protection on. So you'll often see fencers walking around tip down. It's only when we get all of our masks on and safety equipment. And I'm actually going to um, take the time to get you dressed and then we'll go from there and we'll do some bouting. Awesome. And last question. So I can see that my sword, it kind of shapes up. Would you say typically to hold it downward? Um, yes. Actually, uh, the way that the handle is made is it's a natural position for your hand even though the sword tends to point a little bit down so you're right this handle will be down in the back and up in the front like so exactly you've got it just right <laughs> well we're ready to get geared up okay <laughs> Well, this is great. You've got your safety equipment on, all the protection you need. What I'd like to do now is hand you each your weapons back. And uh, you get the, that one, and you get the left one. OK, now, you'll notice there's a plug here. And uh, I'll give you a hand with yours. But we're going to plug these in. And then we're going to bring over the owner and operator of Team, Team Touche, Ted Paget, and he'll give you a lesson. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. Great. So we're here. We got our epes in hand, and it's time to train you for battle. Woo! You ready to go? So you're going to start with poking the head coach first, Hi. and then you're going to be poking each other, and then we're going to giggle. Yeah. You ready yeah. for this? Okay. Let's ready to giggle. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so our first lesson. So shall we start together then? Okay. So our first thing we have to do is show a little respect before we start poking each other. So the first thing we're going to do is make an L with our feet the other way, dear. Perfecto. And you're going to have your sword out in front, and you're going to bring your guard up. And let's salute our friend over here. And back to our eyes. And straight one. Perfect. And then we bend, bend, bend our knees, and we get ready to fence. Now I'm going to help you hold in this. Perfect, you look awesome. And let me see how quickly you can hit. So all I want you to do is poke right to the chest. Perfect. You don't need to move your legs, just your arm will do. Ready? Go. Perfect. Full extension. And that means good job. Then you bring the arm back. Good at this. And touch. Good. All right. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is extend your arm, but you don't have to hit yet. Extend your arm. Perfect. Now, move this foot way up here, and you're going to hit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Great job. So this, then that. You try. It's called lunge. Bend your elbow. Extend your arm. Got you. Way to go. Ready? Extend your arm first. And can you reach? Oh, good try. You missed me trying to get it. Ready? Extend your arm first. Big lunge. All right. And then on guard. Are you ready to fight? When you're on guard, it means you're ready to sword fight. Ready one more time? Big lunge. This is really well. And recover. OK. So shake it out a little bit. Breathe if you want to pop your mask up and breathe for a second. 
Is it a little hot there? It's okay, you're doing great. Okay? And then I'll hold your, well, you're fine. You can let it dangle like this. You can let your sword dangle, see that? Oh, and now you have two hands. Okay. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So the next thing, obviously, you know, fencing, the word fencing comes from the word defensing. So a long time ago, it was special, it was a special idea to use the sword as a shield. They didn't do it this forever. You know, you always see Jedi Knights and Pirates of the Caribbean and they're going clash, smack the blade all over. But before they had swords for blocking, you know what they used? They used the shield over here. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna block with the blade. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna teach you how to do that. We're gonna learn how to block with the blade instead of a shield in the other hand. You ready to try? Okay. I'm gonna go very slow, okay? So what you have to do is draw a circle in the air, and we're gonna make a circular shield. So start here, and when I stick out my arm, you get to make your shield. Ready? Go. Perfect. Now don't point it at her, because your job is to point it at me. Now lunge, go. You're really doing a good job. Way to go. On guard, ready? And spin it around. There you go. Now touch. This is. Don't forget to stick your sword all the way out. Ready? Here I come. Oh! Yeah, you did it. Nice one. One more. Ready? Pose and touch. Way to go. Good job. So the last thing I'm going to teach you're really doing well today. Good job. So the last thing we're going to try is this. We're going to try a fancy move. You ready for something harder? Yeah. Obviously. Okay. So here's what we're trying today. We're going to try what's called a disengage. Okay. A disengage is the idea that um, you don't want to be blocked when you're hitting, right? If I spin my sword like this, you want to get around and still hit me. So you're going to try an advanced move on your first day. Let's take a look. You're going to extend your arm first, and that scares me. So what am I going to do? Try to block. And now just wiggle your fingers. There you go. Go. There you go. On guard. Over back here. You're doing great. Extend. Scare me. Oh, scare me. Like this. And then go. Yeah. There you go. Ready? And extend. And touch. A little faster. One, two. You try. Ready? One, two. Oh, that was the one. That was the one. Ready? One more. And one, two. Good job. Way to go. That was excellent. So now we've had a quick lesson. We're going to go first position. And we're going to salute. And then we shake hands too. Okay. You did a great job. Good work. Yeah. Very good. That was awesome. Are you, is it your turn now? Yeah. Okay. 